Okay, here we go. We're recording first team call for 2017. Happy New Year to everybody. I am very, very excited about this year. I have been on several Jewel calls and uh, just hearing Alec and Tarl and the millions of dollars they are investing in our company right now. Uh, Y'all know that we have a huge facility in Scottsdale, right? And that we have a 99 year lease on that facility that's on Indian reservation land. And so we don't own the land, but, but we have a great deal worked out with the Indians. And I was there when they were out and did their little dance on the land and, um, and blessed us and blessed the land and said, you know, we're excited to have Plexus here for 99 years. <laughs> so our, you know, our corporate um, staff would not have made that decision if they did not think we were not going to be around. Right. So let me just tell you, you should be excited. You are here in the beginning. You are all pioneers. This is still ground floor, okay? We have got amazing things coming. And I don't know if you remember, I don't remember, it was one of the interviews that Tarl did, and I don't remember if it was last year, um, some, one of y'all might remember, where he, I actually think it was in a, in a magazine, one of our Success From Home magazine interviews or something, where he said that he sees us topping out at around 27 products. And we're at 16 right now, right? So we have got, uh, we're not even near our potential of what we have to offer everybody. So that's pretty exciting right there. All right. So who here, and I can only see one page of y'all, but um, who here is already signed up for the Trim Up Challenge? Any takers yet? Awesome. Okay. That's my goal. As soon as I get back from Super Saturday, I can focus on that. But there, y'all, we did a call, a, a live call with um, the gals that are in charge of this. And this is what's exciting. There's already, in the, well, in the first three days of January, there have already been 5,500 people sign up for Trim Up. Isn't that awesome? That's just in the first three days, and that's when we were having issues. <laughs> so the cool thing is, I know in the beginning we're all like thinking we've got to get, we've got to sign up right away. We've got to sign up right away. We have until, um, what is it? Mid March 15th. So to sign up, I mean, so we have plenty of time because that means you can sign up March 15th and still go 60 days. Okay. Winners are not going to be announced until, um, convention, you know, until June. So they've made it to where even if he's, you know, a brand new customer in March can still sign up and do the trim up challenge. It's a 60 day block for you, not a 60 day block for everybody. This isn't the biggest loser where we're all on the same timetable, right? So it's on your timetable from when you sign up. I wanted to share with y'all uh, before I jump in with some of my things that I had on my notes for y'all for, uh, for the new year. I just wanted to go over just a couple of trim up things. And I, I know there's probably, um, some more questions that y'all might have. And if you ha do just put them in the comments or something or in the chat, but um, just real quick, I mean, we're not going to make this a whole term up meeting, but real quick. Um, I just wanted to make sure that you realized, you know, again, that, you know, everybody's 60 days starts when they start your picture that you post must have the products that you have ordered for the challenge. So let's say, you know, you set up a triplex plus, block order and that's all you placed in your order um, and that's an unconditional uh, order you have to it has to be unconditional for two months or preferred customer right so those all those products must be in your picture if you have x factor in your picture or if you have p96 in your picture but it is not on your order that will disqualify your picture it has to match the products that you've turned in that you're taking Does that makes sense so um, Anyway, so that's how they're going to keep up with what you took or that's in your picture that is uh, that you're getting unconditional. Now, if you want to buy other products, that's fine. They just can't be a part of that unconditional um, part of your trim up challenge. And then um, for new ambassadors, they here's the deal. This is why new ambassador welcome kits and uh, the trim up challenge they don't talk because they're on different platforms. Remember when they announced that they are building us a new website, a new back office, not a new website, but a new back office Remember, millions of dollars are being invested. Okay. Well that's the trim up platform. Okay. So that's already going on the new stuff. 
the welcome packs and all that is on the old platform. So right now they don't have a way for them to, to talk and for us to get the credit for all that. So even though we know, and if you've been around for a while, you know, convention contest credits start and they usually roll back and they start January 1st. So we want to get those people with welcome packs so that we get those 10 points, right? Well, you still can, even though those welcome pack orders will not count towards their first order on trim up. Here's a plan. Let's just say you sign up a new customer with a welcome pack today. Okay. So you want to encourage them sign up with a welcome pack. Let's get your products going on your, um, your backup order. Let's make that your trim up products. So go ahead and get them to, to do an unconditional backup order for a triplex plus a block or whatever. Okay. Then after you do that, Hey Paula, then after you do that, um, and they'll set it for unconditional. So it'll actually take them, you know, so let's just say the order today on the fourth, let's just say their product comes in on the 10th, you know, or the 11th. Okay. Then they go in and they register on the site. They can still register uh, without getting that first um, order. Okay. They can still go in and register and they can, give it that, um, that number for their backup order because that's a, that's a guaranteed scheduled order. It's an unconditional order, right? They've already set it up. So in two more weeks, that order is going to come. So they just have to have two of those come through to be in their 60 day to be in the trim up challenge. So that's how we're getting the new, you know, buy your welcome pack. Let me go over that one more time. So you buy your, well, let's just, for example, buy your welcome pack today, get your product on the 10th, register on the 11th, Upload your picture within 14 days of registering. So you have 14 days to say, okay, when am I going to wear my picture? Um, I've got to make sure my products come in and I've got to have them in my picture. And then um, 40 days, two qualifying orders will go through. Let's just say you, you know, you signed up today on the 4th. So your two qualifying orders would be on the, um, on February 4th and on March 4th. Okay. And then, um, yeah, your, your products must be in your picture. That's it. So I don't want anybody freaking out that you can't sign up people with welcome packs and get started. You can, um, but so that's a way to do it and they can still participate in the challenge. They can go ahead and start their products now and get going, but you know, taking products, but as far as being in the challenge for 60 days, they can be, you know, they're really doing the challenge longer, but that's how you do it to be in the challenge officially. How can we, you know, what, can we change the first order day, say triplex with protein to triplex with something else? Yeah, you can, your back, you mean your back up order? You can change, you can make that whatever you want it to be. It does not have to be what's in the welcome pack or what you've been getting. Does that make sense? I don't even know if I answered your question, but let's go on. <laughs> All right. If somebody else wants to answer that it would be great. Or if, uh, if y'all see questions and I'm talking and you know the answer. Feel free, my friends, to participate. I love seeing your faces. Hang on, I want to go to the next page. Do y'all have it on the view where it looks like um, Brady Bunch? Hey, second page. Hey, Whitney. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Cindy. How's your eye? You okay? I'm sorry it hurts. Um, ugh, that's no fun. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Monique. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Julie. Okay. Hey, Amber, I just said say hi to some people, but peeps. Okay. Um, I want to talk to you about trim up challenge. Oh, the free shipping. If you have not done so already, you want to make sure that you have a backup order set before the 16th of the month. And then Plexus will send you a free shipping code. Okay. Um, and you're going to want that when we roll out our new, catalogs because catalogs are expensive. So get your ship free shipping code, save that and use it for the new catalogs. They are drop dead gorgeous. I have seen some previews and I cannot wait for them. So we talked about super Saturday. If, uh, and if y'all probably seen on my team page that I posted, if you cannot attend to please gift your ticket to somebody. Now, what I mean by that is, you, it's not a corporate thing. It's not an official transfer. It's a, Hey, I can't go just show up and be Alicia McKee, you know, and take my ticket. That's what I mean. Okay. Because especially like in Dallas, there's what thousand, how many people are in Dallas? 1500 or something. And the, the way it's set up for registration is like 
you know, A through D, you know, E through J, whatever it is, you know, so it's going to be broken out by last name. So you would just go in the line of the person that you took their ticket and say their name and you would be able to get in. Okay. I have not gotten my free shipping code either. So I think maybe, you know, if you haven't gotten one yet, you've already set it up. Um, you also might want to just double check that it's saved because I did it once and it didn't save. I did it for my phone and it didn't work. I had to do it for my computer. But um, I know that they are still sending out codes. So don't worry if you haven't gotten your code yet. 2200 in Dallas. See, they're not going to be checking IDs, y'all. Just <laughs> I'm telling you, last year there were hundreds. And I w it almost made me sick because pe there were so many people that I knew wanted to go that couldn't because it was sold out. And there were so many tags there that they just didn't come for whatever reason. So please, please, please share yours if you can't. And if you really, if you didn't get a ticket and you really want to go, post out there, say, hey, I really want to go to Atlanta or wherever you want to go. And somebody may say, hey, I've got a ticket. I can't go now and give it to you. Okay, so I bought something. When I had our team Christmas party or um, for our leaders here the other day for Christmas, what I did, I, I shopped for that for a while for just different presents for giveaways and stuff. And just different things that I thought would be fun. And actually, when um, people got gifts from me, they I didn't even really realize what was in there because it had shopped so long ago. But one of the things that I bought um, uh, actually didn't end up getting picked as a gift because I had bought more. There were like eight people that ended up having sick kids or couldn't come or something. So I had more gifts under the tree than I had people come. Well, one of the gifts that was still there uh, is hanging on the wall behind me. And I thought, you know, can you see? Can you see it? Here, I'm going to grab it. So I thought, you know, maybe God just wants me to keep this for this year. So this is where I got our word for the year. It's fearless. Okay. So I want you all to write that down. And what does it mean to you? And then I'm going to ask you in just a minute um, to share maybe some things. How could we be fearless this year in our business? Um, maybe in your life with your relationships, maybe there's, you know, somebody that you haven't been getting along with, um, life's too short. You know, we just need to make sure that, um, you know, that, that we're living, you know, we're living without fear. We're living without fear in the Bible. It says, um, hang on, I wrote it down. Do not be afraid is in the Bible 365 times, which is kind of ironic that that's how many days we have in a year, right? So it's not really ironic because I mean, he planned that, but you know, it's like every day we can look up and see a new verse on how he's telling us not to be afraid. He's got this. So if there's something that, you know, you're worried about your business, maybe it's not growing as fast as you wanted. Maybe you haven't even taken off yet because you have um, been worried about something. You're, you're fearful. You're, you don't want to share you. Um, you're not ready, whatever it is, I want you to remember that, you know, that God's got this. He also says, um, do not be afraid, just believe. And that's in Mark 5, 36. She is clothed in strength and dignity and laughs without fear of the future. Proverbs 31, 35. Y'all have all heard of uh, Proverbs woman. And then I'm fearless. Psalm 27, one. I thought, okay, that clearly is what God wanted me to use for my word of the year. And everybody's been talking about it and I've been waiting because I wanted to uh, roll it out with y'all before um, I posted it on Facebook. So anyway, so there you go. So I would love to know some of the things regarding our Plexus businesses that maybe you've been fearful from in the past. Um, I really don't like to do videos and lives and things like that. Um, People can be very judgmental and you know what? I'm getting past it. It's not worth it. And you know, we all just need to realize we're all here to help each other. And I'm going to take, that's one of the ways that I'm going to squash my fear this year. Also, um, you know, I've never done a super Saturday where I've led in front of so many people and, and trained my peers. I mean, there's my peers are going to be in the audience, uh, many diamonds in the audience in Little Rock. This is, and I'm facing a huge fear there. So I would appreciate some prayers on Saturday. But um, anyway, you know, think of, you know, how you can uh, overcome your fear with Plexus this year. So let me look over here. Um, 
Perfect love casts out fear. Yes. Love it. Actually was admiring it. <laughs> My word of this year is bold. Goes right along with that. Yes, it does. So find a, find a word for you, you know, find a word that, um, that resonates with you and with your team and share it with them. Okay. On that note, I would love for Miss Cindy Anderson. Um, what are the things that I think that we, um, we really need to do. And I, what I would like to be is more organized and more uh, intentional. So with our goals and our plans and our dreams to be more intentional with what we want. And one of the things that we can do to help that is to make a dream or a vision board. And so I would love for Cindy. She's a diamond on my team and she is here tonight. And I would love for her just to share. She's got a hurt eye. So, but, um, but she wanted to talk about her dream board. Yeah, so nobody judged the no makeup because it's literally been like washed off my face. I went in just a few minutes ago and tried to put them on. I'm like, forget it. <laughs> it's not going to happen tonight. Um, okay, so one of the things that Alicia and I always crack up at is that, um, and I can crack up with Gina too because Gina's like this. I know Gina's on the call. Um, I'm a little competitive, and I know Gina is too, just a little bit. And, um, I'm very goal oriented. And so if there's a goal out in front of me, I, I'm going to do everything I can to reach that goal. And I think a lot of people, they jump into Plexus and they're wanting to do it and they never set a goal. They never set, um, that, that bar for themselves. And if you don't have a goal, you're just going to keep doing the same thing over and over again, but you're not reaching for something. And right now is a great time to set those goals. And um, I'm going to think the first thing of, on this is first you got to sit back and think, okay, I got all year. Okay. And I want you to dream big, set no boundaries. Just what if, what if you jumped in with both feet and worked as hard as you can? What if, what could happen? Um, I mean, the possibilities are there um, depending on what rank you are right now. If you are ranked, at senior gold or ruby senior ruby there's no doubt in my mind you jump in with both feet and work as hard as you can the chances of you going to hawaii are huge um i turned senior gold in december so january at the end of de december and it's so january like right now three years ago I was, was it three years ago, two years ago, three years ago, I was senior gold. So if you're senior gold, I made it to Emerald that year. Um, so think about that. Just let your mind go there for a minute. Write those dreams down. Okay. Write them down and then now make them goals. Put, put some oomph behind it. Put a date behind it. Be specific. The more specific you can be, the better. And then now let's, make it into a dream board. And I know for me that first, I think was when I was trying to go Emerald, I had this, my little day timer here. And I put my dream board up here. I have Hawaii, picture of Hawaii. You've got, a, I've got on, on here a picture of a car, but right here is um, also do motivational quotes. This one says, shoot for the moon. And even if you miss, you land them in the stars. Okay. So put some motivational quotes with it. But keep it in front of you. That dream board should be around you. You shouldn't make it and then put it in your computer and then forget about it. Make it and put it someplace where you're going to see it on a regular basis to help keep you motivated. Because your mind, if it is constantly reminded of what your goal is, it's going to do everything it can to make sure that that happens. Um, even when you're not, you don't, even when you don't think you're thinking about it. Remember, a picture's worth a thousand words. And if you have pictures of where you, where you want to go, again, your mind is going to try to um, achieve that. Be detailed. If you're trying to go Emerald, do a picture of a beach, do a picture of the white Lexus and um, put the date on there. Keep track of how many, um, if you're in the process, if you're senior gold, Ruby, senior Ruby, you need to be keeping track of your points and knowing how far you are away. And it should be exciting. I'm only 75 people away. I'm only, you know, 50 people away. Keep those goals in front of you and that, I, that, that just right in front of you so you can keep that ex ex um, excitement, excuse me. And then um, also talking about the dream board, but this also is not necessarily something that's tangible. But when I was trying to go diamond, 
every day for like it seemed like forever. I listen to three songs every day. So music can also be motivation. It also can help you use everything that you can. For me, my three songs were um, Beyond Me by Toby Mac, Overcomer by Mandisa, and Fight Song by Rachel Platten. I listened to those three songs every day um, when I was getting dressed. So it was always in my bathroom playing, get me ready for the day. I can do it. So um, just know that Alicia and I both, we, we both know that y'all can do it. We believe in you. Set those dream boards. Get them, get them going. I'd love to see them when you get them. Alicia. Has anybody um, already done a dream board or a vision board? I've seen several different kinds. I've seen people do them, you know, on their phones or like Cindy did on her planner. And even, I mean, you can even get an app. What's the one that I, I've used one before. I've done several. Um, and I think it's just the photo editor app. Isn't that the one where it's like a blank slate? Maybe, no, it's pick collage. That's it. Pick collage. You can, you can, you know, save different pictures on your phone, make a collage and pick collage and make it be your background on your phone. Um, I love that. Then you're seeing it all the time. Another thing that you might want to remember, though, when you make your dream board is if you're if you you know if you're a silver and your dream board has diamonds all over it, you have just forgotten all the other ranks. You want to make sure you're you're going in the right direction here. You can't go from silver to diamond. You've got to you know your next big goal is gold, right? So you, your gold needs to be on your dream board. Senior gold needs to be on your dream board. Make some gold stuff in there. Put some red stuff in there for Ruby. Then, you know, then, oh, look, we've got somebody sharing. Let's see here. Hang on. I got to zoom in on Mel, um, Katie. Looky there. She's showing. Y'all see the Bowman girls over there showing off her phone? Always a step ahead, my dear. Always a step ahead. Proud of you. Um, anyway, so there's Dreamboard and uh, make your goals. If you have not shared your goals this year, then you need to get with your upline and do that. Okay. Um, they're wanting to know that if you could put those three songs in the chat, Cindy, they're all wanting to know those songs. And then, oh, Tammy, do you have one that you could share? Tammy McCollum? Where'd you go? Lost you. You could, let's see if you have it. Where'd she go? Okay, I can't find you. If you have it, then, um, Sorry, I'm recording this and I'm like <laughs> flipping all the pages. And when I do that, I forget it records like that. Sorry if you're watching the recorded version of this and you're like wanting to know why it's doing it. It's because it's my vision, what I'm looking at. Okay, she's put the songs on there. All right, so we talked about um, dream boards. I would love to talk about goals. We've got some people on here that have already written up their goals. They not only have their goals ready, but how they're going to achieve those goals. And I've got some people that are ready to share. Rebecca and Paula, are y'all ready? Okay. I'm unmuting you. Hello, everybody. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I'm Rebecca. I'm Sunday or Sunday. I'm Alicia's level one, and this is Paula. She was having computer problems, so she drove over to my house. <laughs> That's dedicated. I, I jetted over here. Um, so close. You. I got my dream board going. Woohoo! Um, okay, I'm going to talk real quick about goals. I've got several, but I'm going to share three main ones with y'all tonight and just kind of my process of how I hope to reach them um, just to hopefully give you a little inspiration and maybe a little um, guidance on how you can do your goals. Um, I'm currently Senior Ruby. Um, I've been Ruby Senior Ruby for quite a while, and so my big goal is to be Emerald um, in 2017. I'm claiming it. Um, the way I'm going to do that is, um, and I have those written down too to go in my planner, but um, I'm big on the power of three, and so this year I just kind of focused on the power of three on, in different areas. Um, I told myself daily that I'm going to contact three new people um, from my from my hundreds list, or just make new make new meet, meeting new people, contacting new people, telling them about plexus. I'm also going to take the time to follow up with three people and be that past potentials that I've talked to, past customers, current ambassadors that might need help. Um, I'm just going to make sure that I'm reaching out to at least three people um, that are already involved in Plexus or that I've already talked to about Plexus as well. And that's daily. Um, I'm going to weekly do three power hours 
where I'm going to set aside three hours um, each week that I'm focusing just on my business. Um, I'm really going to help my team this year as well, or I hope to help my team this year as well. But um, those power hours are going to be all about me growing my team and, um, and my, my personal, my, like my level ones and, and building wider, not just deeper. Um, and then every month I want to do um, three events, be it corporate events, sip and sees, um, meeting somebody new just um, that's not involved with Plexus, building a relationship, um, taking them to dinner, meeting them for coffee, um, some combination of three things each month. So that's kind of my goal for um, getting myself to Emerald. I also um, want to grow as a leader. I have several gals on my team and guys too, got several husbands that, um, that are about to bust at the seams. They're, they're almost there. Um, and I want to be the leader that they need. So um, I hope to do the 21 Laws, um, John Maxwell's book, um, and grow myself as a leader with that. And then I also want to kind of just balance life a little better. Um, so I want to be more intentional. It's funny that Alicia said that earlier about being fearless. Um, I want to do my work. I want to make sure I'm doing that in my daylight hours. I want to be um, focus on my family put my phone down in the evenings when they're home, not always be doing plexus. Zoom calls are okay every now and then, but <laughs> I don't need to always be, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to be more focused on them. But be, but to do that, I have to be more focused on my business during the hours that I set aside for my business. <laughs> um, and I also want to spend, um, I'm, I'm getting myself up earlier to make sure that I get my devotion in every day, to spend time with God and to, um, to put that first in my day, and then everything else will fall into place. So that's my goals in a nutshell. So Paula's turn. <laughs> hey, y'all. Can you hear me, Alicia? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and just looking at the, what I've written down in my uh, Plexus, the new planner I got, um, for Q1, I really would like to um, focus on at least one <laughs> business builder. I'm not sure what happened. Um, um, I mean, I would like to have more than that, but I would like to have one person that is going to walk this out with me um, that is um, excited about building a business. I would rather have one that's dedicated than four or five that's halfway in. Um, also, I've got a dream board put together for my family. My boys help me do that, but I also want to put together like a dream board of my existing customers and ambassadors, like pictures of them and their family so that every day I can see them and their faces and pray for them every day that plexus is going to help them and help their bodies but help them financially too um and then i would love to go silver every month i know everybody would love to do that 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 really is my goal every month try to go silver every month and just take it one step at a time um personal goals i've got several books that um i'm reading one is called undaunted by christine kane and love does by bob goff um, and then I'm going to read also the 21 um, Irrefutable Laws of Leadership as well. And, and I've got the workbook recently. Um, family goals, I'm with Rebecca. I need to make sure that I have certain um, times a day that I can work plexus and my kids not feel like that they're interrupting me um, at home. I don't want them to feel that way. So I've got to be diligent about setting time aside to be able to do that. And then spiritual goals, um, just focusing on making sure that I'm reading the Bible every day. Um, and spending time with God and having that devotional time with him because I talk a lot to him. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't stop and listen and I've got to get better about doing that and handing this business over to him for sure. Thank you. Good job, Paula. Proud of y'all. Okay. You had one other person that wanted to share, right? Hi, Rebecca Stevenson. Yes. Okay. Where's she at? Um, Rebecca, can you unmute yourself? See if I can find her now. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm gold and I need to get my act together. I need to get my life balanced better. Um, organization's not my key or not my thing. So. <laughs> Planner is helping me a lot. I've got a lot of in. Uh oh, where'd she go? Oh. Can you hear me? We didn't hear that last part. Okay, I've got a lot of inactive ambassadors, and so kind of like Paula said, um, I've got. I need. I want to get 
I'm going to contact five because I've got a lot that are inactive. I'm going to contact five per day starting tomorrow. I am. And just contact them and see where we're going until I contact them all and just see where they're at to see if they'll jump back in. I'm going to start doing, I've got a sip and see scheduled for one of my level ones. So I've got some level ones that I know want this that just went silver and I'm trying to go to gold or I'm trying to help some get to silver. So I'm going to start helping um, one sip and see per month as my goal plus one meeting with my team for sure. At least um, sit down meetings, the, the local ones or Zooms. I need to do better at Zooms. Um, and I wanna, I'm going to start reading one new book a month. Right now I'm doing the four color personality or the, you know, the four color personalities one. Yeah. That's, That's what I'm doing right now. Um, and I think that's all I have. So really I've got to work on my inactive ambassadors and I want to be senior goal by April 1st. It's scary, but that's what I'm trying to do. Senior goal by senior by August, April 1st. So I'm trying. Awesome. Thank you for sharing Miss Rebecca. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not used to this yet. This is out of my <laughs> well, here's something that everybody needs to remember when you write down your goals. Okay. And you're trying to think there's a lot of times that, um, that, you know, your goals is, is an, I want, you know, something that you want to happen. But if you don't think about how you can make it happen, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. And so, um, what I want you to remember, write down smart goals. Okay. Smart goals are specific, they're measurable, they're action oriented, they're realistic, and they're time specific. Okay, so time specific, like she just said, she wants to promote in April. You know, that's when she wants to promote. She's going to, you know, work backwards from that and make her goal. What does she have to do every month to get there? How many points does she need? One of the things with with all of our inactives, which you know, a lot of our inactives are they were like they were inactive by default, meaning they didn't necessarily want to turn off, but they had a credit card issue and it turned them off or something, you know. So when you're going back and checking with your inactives, and I like that goal of five, and was it five a day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, when you're checking with them, and you you know you can pull it up in your back office and see you know when they're under order history, when their last order was. And maybe their last order was like two months ago. You want to find out why did they stop? Did they even know they stopped? You know, yeah. like, well, where's my products? Oh, this is kind of funny, but I'm serious. A lot of our ambassadors that never took time to learn how to work their back office, they didn't even know how to update their credit card or go into their back office. Cindy and I were talking today and she's got a new ambassador that um, was a customer for what, three years? And, he didn't even know, he didn't even change it with the new with the new back office system last year. So he's never been in his back office. He's always counted on his products coming. He didn't even know how to do that. So it may not. It just may be that they haven't thought about it. They didn't know there was you know a new code they needed or whatever. Tell them about trim up. That might get them back in the game. The fact that they could win a trip to Disney, <laughs> you know. Um, 60 prizes y'all they're amazing prizes i'm very 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 excited we've never had anything like this so um okay, okay i think i've had is anybody else would anybody else on here like let me put, change the view here would anybody else like to voluntarily share their goals and how they're going to achieve them and whatever you share might help somebody else think about how they're going to do theirs and if if um if you would like to share then um, just hit your unmute. Okay. Anybody? 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 Amber. Amber thinks she's taken y'all on the contest. So I saw they're already eating good. So if, if I'm, I might show up over there so she can make me some good yummy food too. I'm not good at that. I may order from Simply Fit. Has anybody ever done that? Okay, I'm getting off on rabbit trail. Okay. Anyway, let's talk about the last thing that I wanted to talk with y'all about is um, I'm going to do a, a quick uh, screen share to show you some of my favorite new things that we have in our back office. And it may just be that, um, that you 
haven't had time. He didn't, he didn't understand where to go to look for these things, but they are making it so easy for us to share compliant, good, professional graphics and information. And you don't even have to worry about, is this compliant? Um, is this, person, you know, are they still with Plexus? Are they still, you know, using products or whatever? They've got before and afters back there. There's a lookbook, all kinds of cool stuff. So, but I don't want to forget to tell you this on Tuesdays, just to make sure you know, and I do post these in our group, um, that Beth Anderson, who is my upline does weekly team calls and I'm on those a lot, but we are kind of doing more of a share thing. So, um, make sure that you can jump on those and they are recorded and I'll share those when I can. And then, just mark it on your calendar if you have any new ambassadors. January the 12th at 10.30 a.m. So it would be like a lunch and learn. Um, and I'm sure we'll record it. Well, I don't know that we did last time. We might record it. Um, a new ambassador training. So anyway, Christmas cookie. Angela, you are cracking me up. Okay. Y'all look in the chat if you want to know what I'm talking about. Okay. Let me show you my back office right quick. Where's my screen share button? Right here. How do I do that? My desktop? There. Can y'all see it? Rebecca Day, can you see it? Because I can see you. <laughs> okay. You can see my shareable media page. Okay. All right, so this is cool. So you log into your back office, okay, just like normal, and then you would go over to tools, and then you would hit shareable media, and this is what pops up, okay? So if you've never gone back there, this is what it looks like. Look at all this cool stuff. What's so neat about the shareable media is that when you go, let's just say you go to the 60-day trim up, you can go on here, and you can click on, um, is it going to come out? Okay, there it is. You can click on any of these and share it like what oh, has a little Facebook thing on here. You can share any of those and it will link to your website. Okay. Um, look down here. This lookbook is amazing. Okay. So this lookbook is all before and afters. We have asked for them to print this for us because we like it so much. I mean, we would, you know, pay to have these to hand out. Right. Um, I don't know if it's going to open. There we go. If you look back. Is it going to let us do that? Oh, looky there. Okay. It's opening the whole thing. So anyway, um, when you, and you can also, you can send that via email. You can send that, um, you know, put it shared on uh, social media. Look how nice this is. And this is much better than just a, a cheesy picture, you know, of some, or a graphic that somebody made. This is actual, Look at all these men. Is this like a, okay. I was like, oh, it's divided it. All right. <laughs> like, what? Well, gosh, this is all men. And here we've got the women. I wonder if we know anybody in here. Did y'all put your pictures in here? Not yet? Okay. Pretty cool, huh? All official and professional and looks amazing. Hang on. All right. So anyway, I was going to spend a little bit more time on it, but I wanted to keep your call pretty, you know, under an hour for sure. So you can go back there. You can find the lookbook. You can find the trim up pages. You can um, find triplex information. There's a, a new brochure coming out at Super Saturday, um, a digital brochure, and uh, our new catalogs are coming out. Some other awesome stuff is coming out. So even if you are not attending a Super Saturday, you are going to want to be glued to your Facebook. Be on our group page. We'll be um, updating and sharing. And uh, I, I won't be posting live probably because I'll be speaking, but I will have people post on our team page live and, uh, and share stuff there. So make sure that you are following along. And I think that is all that I had. I want y'all, what's our team word? Fearless. That's right. I can see y'all all saying it. I love it. So we are going to be fearless this year. We're going to grow our business. We are going to, um, yes, central time on the call. And everything that I post is central time. 
You know what? Uh, here's a question about the old catalogs. I still use old catalogs and I write up in them, you know, so if you're training somebody or um, need some, you want to leave some in an office, you don't necessarily want to leave brand new ones or whatever. So um, take them to, um, you know, your dentist office and leave a stack on the table or whatever. Make sure your stickers on and it has your information. But, you know, just be creative. Don't throw them away. For sure use them. I mean, somebody could always contact you if they, you know, had questions or whatever. And then you could tell them about new products or new things. So, anyway, I, I still, I, I keep all, you know, old catalogs and these things like that with them. Don't ever throw that good stuff away. So, do you all have any quick questions for me before we totally end? Besides the, what do we do with old catalogs? Um, I saw that Angela Christmas cookie <laughs> is, um, going to put together a opportunity call. And I think that's awesome. So, uh, I think she even talked about maybe doing something monthly. So if y'all, anybody wants to be interested in, in partnering up with that, I think the more oppor opportunity calls that we have that we can share, um, as a team and get lots of people on and involved and asking questions and talking, um, is, is good. So. Okay, um, I think that's it. So I want to thank you all for coming. I'm going to stop the recording now.